Hello guys and guys, and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make text looking like this, and like this, in less than a minute using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get into the meat and bones of this tutorial here. Um, first off, before I start anything, I just want to say sorry for my voice. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, at least my voice is. And, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys like the deep voice, but um, it, it doesn't feel so great on my end. But, anyways, you can sit back and enjoy the deep voice if you're into that. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> let's get to the tutorial. So, anyways, down in the description of this video, I will have a Photoshop file with the uh, Minecraft text assets um, for you to download and put in a safe location on your computer, your desktop, your My Documents, pictures, whatever. Put it somewhere on your computer. And uh, what you can actually do is go ahead and open that file up with Photoshop, given that you have it installed already. And um, with that file, you can actually be graded with this sort of landing page of sorts, um, where it gives a brief disclaimer. I don't want people like taking my work and saying they did it. Um, a uh, nice little quick description of how to move this text into your own project for whatever you want to use the text for. And um, the actual, the good goods up here with the text, um, I've gone ahead and made a right side up version and an inverted upside down version. So you don't have to figure out how to do that by yourself. It's all right there. You can edit both of them. Um, so you can use this one as sort of like a heading of sorts and this one as a subtext. Um, main point, it's all said and done for you. The hard stuff is done and uh, it's pretty much just the fun part that we'll get to here in a second on how to edit it. Um, so let's actually go ahead and do that now. If you look over here to the right, you'll see two versions. Uh, one for the heading text right here and one for the subtext right here. So let's go ahead and show an example of me editing the heading text. So what you have to do is edit re regular text here. You just um, go over this icon and double click it. That was my phone, I apologize. And um, you'll see that it brings us to the, um, the, the sort of individual asset, just this text and nothing else. So what you can actually do here is you can actually change the source text by double clicking here and going one deeper. If I bring out my text tool over here on the side, I can go ahead and click this. Now, um, before you start editing any of this text, you will need to install the font that this is. Um, which is called Arcade Classic. You can find it on defont.com. Um, you can also, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll put the font file inside of the zip. Um, but in, in case I don't, uh, for copyright reasons, I don't know what the distribution policy of that font is. You can go to defont.com and search for the font uh, Arcade Classic, all one word, and download that and install it on your computer and you should be good to go. Um, I, I should put it inside the download for this asset, but I have no idea what the creator of this font has um, as far as distribution policy. So anyways, that's the whole spiel on the font. Hopefully you guys figured that out. I feel like I explained it pretty well there. But once you have the font installed, you can actually go ahead and change this text. So I'll change it to the guy or die. I'll go ahead and press enter. Now uh, I'm going to make one more update to the actual uh, template before I make it live and that'll be to make sure that it's centered the whole time so you don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to go ahead and center it. Yours should be automatically centered when you type in the text. And uh, there you go. You have your text right there. So what you have to do now is go up here to file and save or you can hit control S on your keyboard. That's what I'm going to do. And there's your text looking all nice and snazzy centered as always. And you can go ahead and close that. You'll see updates with all the fancy 3D effects right here. And um, that brings us to the next part of this sort of text editing part of the tutorial. You can actually ch go ahead and change the color if you so please. Um, from the default gray, you can change it to, um, you just double click right here to open up this panel. And you can bump up the saturation to give it color. And you can go ahead and rotate the hue around to find a color that you like. I'm just gonna go with a nice green might as well. I'll go ahead and make it a little bit darker here. So you can see we got a nice deep green color. It looks really nice. Let me rotate the hue a little bit more. Something like that. And um, there you go. You can actually colorize it and stuff. You can see what it looks like on and off. 
<laughs> if you stare at the graven for long enough and turn it off, it looks purple for half a second, and then it, you know, it's an optical illusion. I don't know what that is, but uh, that's how you do the color. And if you go ahead and click Control S or File Save once more, you can actually go back to the main file and you'll see that it's updated. So from here, what you can actually do is you can bring this directly into your thumbnail, your banner, whatever the heck you, you're using this text for. And um, you can actually bring it into that project file by, um, just close all these other tabs. You can bring it into that um, file by hitting Control D with the layer selected. So this is the layer we wanna copy. I'm gonna hit Control D and um, <clears throat> we'll change the name. We wanna move it over as, we'll change it as uh, main, oop, main text. And you can choose which other open uh, project you wanna copy it to. For the purpose of this tutorial, I don't have another project open currently, so I'll go ahead and create a new one, and I'll name this my aws awesome thumbnail. If you already have a thumbnail that you're working on open, you can go ahead and select it from this dropdown, but since I don't, I'm just making a new one. Go ahead and click OK, and you'll see it uh, created a new project with my 3D text in it, and you can go ahead and rotate this around. I hit um, Control T to start moving it, by the way, if you're not familiar with Photoshop. And you know, I'll move it anywhere I want in my thumbnail, I'll make it nice and fancy, and uh, you'll see I've added some nice effects over here, preset effects on your text. You can go ahead and add an outer glow. Can't really so see all that well in this background. And, or a drop shadow, which is subtle. It's very subtle, but it does its job very well. You can actually go ahead and change this, maybe make it a little bit darker of a drop shadow by double clicking the, the drop shadow effect and bumping up the opacity, maybe the spread and the size. You can bump, mess around with a lot of stuff to match your needs. I'm gonna go leave it here and uh, you can go ahead and do all this stuff for your thumbnail. Now, what I'm gonna do is just real quick, I already went over the stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the inverted text, a real sped up version, because I already explained it, um, is um, totes, <laughs> Tot totally cool, man. Um, and also be a good example to show you guys if it doesn't fit within this um, original part here. What you might actually have to do is hit um, image, uh, canvas size, and then bring up the width to maybe like 3000. I just thought 2500 uh, would be enough when I made this, but you, you might need more. So that's an example of how you would do it. Go ahead and click save, close that one. You'll see it doesn't fit on this one either because this one is 2500. So let's go ahead and bring up the crop or the canvas size one again. We'll change it to 300 or 3000. And uh, we'll add a nice color here. Let's make it nice and yellow, golden. Very nice, very, very nice. We'll go ahead and save, close this tab. And you'll see that we have it right here. It clips out of this um, picture, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna be copying over to our new one anyways. And it doesn't matter if it's getting cut off here because we're gonna be using it somewhere else. And uh, now we'll put our drop shadow on before we move it over. And let's just hit Control D with the layer selected, bring it to my thumbnail or whatever you're using it for. And uh, let's go ahead and reposition it right about here using Control T to move it around. And there you see that we've got our 3D Minecraft text all in Photoshop, pretty much just done. And uh, go ahead and make it um, a nice little thumbnail with it. Or you could go ahead and use it for a banner, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's just the basics of it. Um, if you guys have any problems with this asset, template thing uh leave it down in the comments i'll be sure to fix it up for you and um yeah that's pretty much it. i'm excited to share it with you you can go ahead and save this anywhere but i'm not going to right now because this isn't much of a thumbnail to really use anyways <laughs> um yeah use this for whatever your deeds are um go ahead and share this video around with your friends if you found it useful because chances are they will too and they'll probably thank you give you a nice high five all the good stuff so share it with your friends your grandma your dog your sister your mother your stepmother anyways <laughs> uh that's that go ahead and leave a like if you did enjoy and um it looks like i'll see you guys next tuesday for another tutorial 
subscribe if you're new be notified when i put out a new video but uh that is my spiel ladies and gents thank you so 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 much for watching and uh i'll see you next tuesday take it easy peace out